Well, Goldendale is just a small town, population a little over 3,000, and it's a rural community. The heart of this community is uh, agriculture, and it always has been agriculture, and it's just a very nice place to live and raise a family. When I talk about Clickitat County with people, I say, well, one of the things that sets us apart, we have one traffic light, all three colors, but just one traffic light. My family's been here for, I'm the fifth generation, and my grand is the sixth, Rydell's the seventh, running around, so we've been here quite a while. For my family, um, farming is a rough business. The boys every year, they need to go and get a loan to um, farm the next year, and it seems like it's, they just cannot dig themselves out of this hole. We have a aluminum smelter that closed about 10 years ago, so we had very, very high unemployment. Uh, we also had uh, shutdowns of lumber mills, so our county had uh, a number of really severe economic shocks. I think everybody in the community was wondering what's going to happen to Goldendale, what next? And the fact that the wind energy moved in, you know, pretty much was a saving grace. So there's a lot more jobs. It's kind of the shot in the arm that the community needed to stay afloat. The wind turbines, when they came in, it generated income for the landowners with leases at the beginning of it. And then they expanded into construction, and it created quite a few jobs. And this county was really in the dumps. And our young people who used to have to leave Clickitat County to, to have any kind of career whatsoever now can have a very good living wage job as a wind technician or working on the construction projects. I feel very lucky, very fortunate that I was able to go to school in my region and stay in my region and get a job in my region. I just said so I'm going to go to school and I want to go work on the turbines and boom, here I am. I don't need to move around. I don't need to uproot my family um, and I don't need to be away from um, my parents. Myself, when I moved home, originally I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to find a long-term career here, so the fact that the wind development moved in made it a lot more accessible. Most of the wind turbines are going on marginal ground. It's the high ground that's very rocky and we're not farming it anyway. Farms that have been there for generations, now with the wind projects on their land that they suddenly have a base income and they can do the farming and ranching that they had always wanted to do. We fought the wind for my whole life. And now we're praising the wind. <laughs> I think it's a great benefit not only to the landowner but to the community, to our tax rolls. School districts make more money, the fire districts make more money. Uh, it's a win-win situation. You know, where is it the most intense wind going to be? It's going to be right here. You know, Columbia Gorge Community wild. College created the Renewable Energy Technology Program in the summer of 2006, and that was based on a needs assessment that we did to determine if there were going to be jobs in this region, how many were going to be needed and by when. I lost my job and decided I needed to get retrained. Uh, I've always been interested in renewable energy technology, so I came to the Gorge to get a good education and work in an industry that can do something for our country. I don't have any doubt that I'll be able to find a job. Click at that county's energy consumption because the smelter was a major energy user and so were the sawmills. Uh, our energy consumption uh, rival to some degree of metropolitan areas such as Portland. Now with the investments here to produce green energy, we're becoming an energy producer instead of a major consumer. I'm a farmer at heart anyway. I used to do farming and so now we're harvesting the wind and it's a completely renewable resource. By me being here and helping Siemens and working on a wind turbine, what I'm doing is, is helping ensuring that my daughter, I mean even though she's got many years to go, that maybe she won't have to worry about will I be, be able to afford my electrical bill. It's pretty neat that I'm involved in something that, that's really changing the dynamics of not only, you know, Goldendale itself, but just the United States as a whole. We would have never imagined the types of investments that wind farms mean for our county and for our landowners as well. The wind has been um, a, a lifesaver, I think. It's, to me, it's a dream come true.
now there's a more optimism and more hope that families can continue to farm their properties and continue to utilize them the way they have done for two, three, or even four generations around here. And so I think that optimism and hope is what is probably the biggest gift, the largest gift to this community.